absolutely fantastic bronze medal in the Rio Paralympics. Now, before that, he was also, uh, well, where do you start? There was powerlifting, there was shooting, there was cycling, <coughs> there was all sorts of things. He's very kindly agreed to come and see us this morning at the Western Road Academy, and he's very kindly agreed to come and sit um, and have a chat with you about, about his life and about his achievements. We are incredibly, incredibly fortunate because of all the training that you've been doing and carrying on doing, he's managed to find this time to come in and see us. So, the first, well, the first, the first thing we're going to do is say thank you for him coming in and see us. We can <laughs> what we're also going to do, so our wonderful Steve photographer there, who's got a million and one things to do. to be an extra pupil here many years ago. Um, I started out as an able-bodied athlete, did powerlifting for Great Britain, won the World Championships, Europeans, the whole three world records, and then ended up in a chair after an accident, and then moved on to hand cycling, again, sort of competed for Great Britain, uh, winning sort of golds and uh, silvers and bronzes at Worlds, uh, raced for a professional team based in the Czech Republic, did that for about 10 years. Then I went on to shooting, again for Great Britain, still on the chair doing shooting, uh, won a silver and bronze at World doing shooting, 10 metre air for rifle shooting and then I was asked to do a, a talent ID for canoeing when that got announced as a, a Paralympic sport for Rio and then I joined a talent ID in Nottingham, it went from there, I've won, um, I'm a, a double gold medalist at Europeans, double silver at Worlds and now um, sort of Paralympic bronze medalist after, I don't know if anybody watched it on Channel 4, you lot will be at school probably maybe because it was on at 8 minutes past 1 in the UK, but um, you can watch it online anyway, it's a great race, it was only 1 per second between 1st, 2nd and 3rd, so uh, we had to have a photo finish right at the end and um, I didn't know at the end that I'd got a medal until I went to boat control, you have to have your boat checked over to make sure the, right, the, the boat's the right way, all the equipment's correct, nothing's been changed. And then they told me that I got a bronze there because I just didn't know at the end. There was no announcements either to the athletes that who had won. There was Tokar, one of my friends, a Polish guy who got uh, gold. That's the only person we knew got a medal at the time. And then after that, it's just been a massive whirlwind of uh, sort of media. Anyone watch the last leg? In Channel 4, yeah, I was on the last leg. Yeah. So one of my friends is Alex Brooker, who presents that as well. So we get to go on there. And then, then we got to uh, come back on the party plane, as we call it. The Golden Nose plane, the BA plane, victorious, if anyone's seen that plane in the media. Um, that's a really nice plane inside. It's all decorated out with uh, a lot of uh, GB bunting flags. And the staff are so, so kind. And when we got back to Heathrow, the welcome was absolutely fantastic. There's loads of people there waiting for us and loads of press. As soon as you come through there, you know, when you come out, get your bags and you come out, um, and you, you know, you see all your family in that, it's like just a wall of flashes. You know, we, all the, the press there was actually phenomenal. And ever since then, it's sort of been sort of just media all the way, really. And then, really, just back to training for myself. I was training this morning at 8 o'clock, so back in the gym again. And then here, and then go back training later again today. And then it's just back to life, really. And that's me. Too many questions, then. Like yeah, let me show you. I don't know, I've only been doing it for four years. Um, I just thought I'd give it a go. One of my friends asked me to come to South Korea, so I had a go. I was quite glad to it, and then it went from there, really. What is why did you become an athlete? Um, to be honest, I did. Most sports, this school, you know, inside and outside, and they also bought um, the gym 